My name is Alasan Hawa Tambo, coming from Nangun, Karga District, Northern Ghana. I am coming from a home of five children, and I'm the only person to be educated. I met Hawa at the SMART camp in 2009, when she was a first year student at the Karga Senior High School. She explained that she was the only girl in her community, in her village, to have reached senior high school. Therefore, before we left the camp, she was called village champion. Growing up in Karaga district, life was very hard for Hawa. Karaga is one of the districts where girls' enrollment in school is very poor. The main challenges for me was that my parents didn't have money to cater for my education. And secondly, because they were not educated, like ignorance, but they didn't know the importance of girl child education. I got to know Comfort in 2008. That was the year Comfort came into my life. They gave me uniform, sandals, exercise books, pen, and even the fees I was struggling to pay, they paid that money. Howard's ability to stay in school and complete changed the perception of most parents in the Nangunaile community. They saw her as a role model. This inspired a lot of parents in her community to send their daughters to school. Kama as Comfort Alumni, a network of Comfort supported young women who are dedicated to reinvest in the benefits of their education into the development of their communities. Hawa joined the Kama Network in 2012 after she completed secondary school. Hawa regularly visits her old school with uh, her colleague Kama members in the district to educate the girls on the importance of girls' education and need for them to remain focused and stay in complete school. As everybody is saying they want to be a teacher, lawyer, doctor, she wants to be the president of Ghana. That's great. <laughs> They also visited communities, engaging community members on the discussion of social issues that uh, affected girls' education in the district, such as teenage pregnancies, early marriages, rural urban migration, which is very rampant in, also in Karaga. Two years ago, Hawa stood for the district assembly elections and was elected as the assembly person for her community. She received strong support and today she's a hardworking and much respected assembly person representing her communities on the district uh, assembly. We have 50 assembly members in my district. Out of the 50, three are female and out of the three, two are common members. They elected me to become the assembly person because they know that I can bring something back to the community. Hawa is a role model in her community, showing what is possible when girls are given an education. Through Kama, young women like her are opening um, leadership pathways for women all over Africa. My priority is to bring education to my community. 